All right, so I am absolutely disgusted by the stuff that Pete Davidson has been saying in his past. And to be honest with you, a lot of the stuff has resurfaced or, you know, the articles have resurfaced. It's not as if it wasn't there before, sitting there. But to be honest with you, regardless of intent, regardless of joking, whatever, I would not want my children around Pete Davidson, considering the stuff that he has said. Hey guys, it's Murad Morali. Hopefully you guys are all doing well today. Back at it again. It is daily and consistent content, consistent and persistent baby merch in the bio below. And let's get straight into this video, inject it. So we have Pete Davidson who has been saying a lot of different stuff. Now again, it's not as if I'm, you know, a Kanye defender now suddenly, you know, you can defend somebody but also critique them. And that is what I'm always about. I don't con continuously stan a person because everybody can be critiqued or be held accountable if they are in the wrong in an issue. I do think Kanye has been in the wrong several times. I think Kim has been in the wrong several times as well. And I, you know, I also think that both have been in the right. <clears throat> Anyways, um, we do have Pete Davidson and you know, this article has come out. Guys, trigger warning, I wanna just put this in place please. But remember what I said at the beginning of the video, I would not want my children around someone like this. One of his most scandalous routines included a story about how he was babysitting his friend's child and the baby he was teething began sucking on his finger, but good, he said. I don't want to F this baby, but he's asking for it, he said, adding that he doesn't want to have, you know, SEX with any babies, but if he did, he would choose that one. That is something that has struck something with me, because if I have four to five children and, you know, he's in the house with them and he has made jokes like this in the past, I don't want my children around somebody who makes jokes like this. I wouldn't want that. If I was the ex-husband and my ex-wife is, you know, has, is with, currently dating somebody who's around the children and I've seen these articles of him making jokes like this, I wouldn't want them around my children. 110%. I would not want them around my children. I don't want somebody around my children who thinks it's okay. I'm sick and tired of comedians. But hold on, before I even get into that, let me get into the next thing. He was obviously on a show, um, the show with Charlemagne, I forgot, I honestly forgot what the name of the show is, but with Charlemagne, Anjali, um, and basically so speaking about someone who was angry, and then he was like, wait, what? Um, angry like a black woman? Um, oh, and then and then Anjali said, what's that supposed to mean? And then he was like, uh-oh, and then Charlemagne starts laughing. Are you hating a black woman? Um, no. No, no he dates Carly Aquilino. I didn't know that. I'm yeah. not in the, the relationship that's Angelina. Like she yells at me woman. like a black woman. No. <laughs> what is that supposed to mean? Oh, God. <laughs> 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 no, no, how do black women yell? Fact that, I'll find the video. The fact that Charlemagne is laughing is so embarrassing. You're so embarrassing to sit there and you're laughing like some donkey. And the fact that he thinks it's okay to make jokes like that. This is what I'm saying. I'm sick and tired of comedians who, just because you're a comedian now, it gives you an excuse to be so derogatory, um, you know, and be so racist and say disgusting stuff like that about children. Like, there is a restriction, I thoroughly believe, and you can't get away with saying stuff like that. I'm so sorry. But like, if I'm a father of four or five children, I don't want my child, I don't want this new guy around my children who makes jokes like that. Oh, the baby was teething, but he was teething good. Like, are you actually insane? I'm sorry, I don't like something like that. You know, an aggressive, you know, making, um, invoking these aggressive stereotypes about black women as well, you know, and then just because you're a comedian, it's okay, and the world is too sensitive. But it's funny how the world is, it's always the white men. I'm so sorry, it's always the white men that make the most problematic jokes, and suddenly it's okay, and people are just being sensitive, uh, when then the reality is, you aren't entitled to deem who is being sensitive because you don't experience these barriers in life. So for you to say people are sensitive is the highest degree of gaslighting because you're trying to make people feel like the barriers they experience in life are nothing. That they're just, you know, doing the most. They reach into conclusions when you don't even experience what they experience. So who are you in any position to say, oh, you're being too sensitive or, you know, um, relax, we're just making jokes, we can't make jokes anymore, the world is too sensitive. What do you even experience as a white person? Let's be real, as a white man, what do you experience in the world? For you to be screaming about people are being too sensitive. I don't want my kids around somebody who makes jokes about kids like that. I, period, end of discussion. 
I don't. And then you have these biracial girls, you know, that are being raised by Kim, who doesn't know a damn thing, a, a goddamn thing about, about black girls, because this girl grew up as somebody who was, you know, basically a conservative, you know, not knowing anything in any capacity, but suddenly because she married a black guy, she knows everything now. She doesn't know anything. What the hell is she going to do? How is she going to raise her children when it comes to a point of time that the police may interact with them or they, you know, f um, fear or feel or experience other forms of racism? What the hell, uh, what the hell is Chloe going to, what the hell are they going to do with these girls? That They don't know what to do because they haven't experienced this stuff. They don't know how to raise their children in any capacity like this. They don't. They really, really don't. And on top of that, if Pete Davidson gets married to Kim, and Pete Davidson is also partially raising these kids, you're going to be raising biracial kids, but then you're out here joking about stereotypes about black women. Even though these girls are mixed race, but still. Like, I, feel, I really feel for the children involved in this, and not just Kim's children, Chloe's children as well. These children, I feel like, are going to go through a lot as they get older. They are going to go through a lot, guys, as they get older. They're going to put, be put through experiences and they won't know how to deal with stuff like this because they, their, their parents will have no idea and then they will invoke different personalities. They won't be as in touch with their identities, their culture, their ancestry, etc, etc. They'll just be lost in translation and, you know, it's just sad. I don't want to go off on a tangent, but, you know, we can make this into a separate video, into separate content, but I'm just disgusted by Pete Davidson's stuff and I don't want my kids around somebody like that. I think that within itself, all Kanye had to do was really post the article about him talking about kids. Case closed. Sorry, case closed. But I think that is perfectly somebody who can be in a position that is justified to say, I don't want this person around my kids. I, I don't care what anybody says. Yes, Kanye has been wrong many a times. He's been quite abusive to Kim. has been obsessing over Pete Davidson 110%. But I don't know about this Pete Davidson stuff. I didn't know he was screaming stuff like this beforehand. So I don't really care for this man anymore because, um, you know, you can't be preaching mental. I'm so like I don't know. You can't be preaching mental health, but then you're talking. You're doing. You're doing stuff like this. I always find so interesting people that preach mental health, uh, and then they make an omission in their lives. Like I know some people who preach about mental health and they're depressed and whatever, but then they were telling me some stories about how they make it an absolute mission to ruin somebody's life or make it th their lives misery for no reason. And I'm really thinking to myself, you what? What are you doing? Because if someone did it to you and you became even more depressed, you'd be screaming. I don't know. I just find that I'm, I'm running off tangents, but I just feel like Pete Davidson does talk about his mental health a lot. Uh, but at the same time, why should we give you such, you know, caring and coddle you for your mental health? But it's okay for you to be talking about demographics of people, invoking stereotypes, left, right, center, talking about kids like this, left, right, center, because you're a comedian. I'm just playing devil's advocate in this. I do think that, you know, everybody's mental health, you know, should be entitled to be cared about. But at the same time, you wouldn't want, you wouldn't be preaching about your mental health, but at the same time, cussing up people like this in jokes or in interviews or whatever, and suddenly it's cool or it's funny or it's dorky. Like, I don't know. I'm not, you know, a Kanye defender, but all I'm saying is, and I've said it to you many a times in this video, and I hope you guys agree with me in the comments, because I'm filming this video very late in the night, I do not want my children around somebody who thinks it's okay to even make a joke. And I don't even think he was joking in the damn article. He was saying, you know, oh, you know, I wouldn't, but with this one, I would. I do not want my children near anybody that makes jokes like that. Case closed. Let me know your thoughts out, guys, when it comes to this video. Subscribe to the channel. Click that button, guys. It is daily and consistent content. Subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. And I'll catch you guys soon for another video.